Final stage of Tour of Colombia and EF going mental. They had attacked all day. Uh, they managed to get Carapaz to get some bonus seconds. He got about two seconds of bonus seconds in the intermediate sprint uh, as Contreras got second. So the delta was only two, which isn't huge. But 15.6k to go, they decide it's time to go thermal on the last climb. Now, this finishes in Bogota, the capital of Colombia, and the crowds are absolutely crazy today. So what they did is they put Cepeda on the front just and Chavez, sorry, uh, they also had Piccolo as well, but Cepeda was the last man, and he really does an absolute thermo job. Now, you might have seen on the Instagram, they actually kind of practice this, but here he goes. Cepeda just goes absolutely thermo, and he has to. It's a real short climb, this maybe five minutes, maybe less. So you can see Cepeda just full nuking it. Now, Contreras has a pretty strong team. He's got Hanau. Uh, he's also got Davidson, I think it was, uh, who did a really strong job today. But you can see that he gets spat sweat off the wheel, hit the first teammate of Contreras, and it's kind of panicking here, because Cepeda is going absolutely thermo, um, and really, like, at this point, panic stations occur, you're like, are they going to get it back, because he's going full, and just can't close the wheel, Contreras is there, he seems remarkably relaxed, he really doesn't seem to stress, because here, it's like, both out the saddle, Carapaz and Cepeda going thermo on this climb, and you just think, okay, they're going to get across, it's downhill finished, not mega technical it would be like hard to get it it wouldn't be impossible but it, it would be kind of tough to get it back uh and also it's really really short fit, uh, flat part so you can see here there's just absolute carnage on the on the roadside and Cepeda's going at full here they look quite close actually like they don't look like there's a massive stretch which is why Contreras I guess was so chill because he was like if I keep with my teammates then he's still got 20 seconds to go on Carapaz so it's actually quite a big big buffer really in reality so he doesn't he doesn't need to stress too much and I think at this point here, though, you're thinking, well, if these two ride off, then there's a high chance uh, of of it going well. But instead, Cepeda pulls off after a big, big pull. It was a it was a huge pull from Cepeda, uh, and now Carapaz is on his own, and Carapaz is just going full. And you know he's the best climber. Like on on yesterday and after the Vino, he obviously was the best climber. But I think on this, it's slightly different. It's shorter. There's a bit more teammates with the drafting, like. New Columbia actually have people to try and pull them back. Well, yesterday Contreras was getting one two or like one four more like most of the time. The gap here is pretty big. Uh, again, it's not crazy steep, so the draft is good. So Contreras is probably like, well, as long as we get it close, I could always attack across. Going out the back, Nairaman went out the back pretty early doors. Uh, Restrepo did. Pony, who is I've now learned is the nickname uh, of the Colombian national champion Osorio. Uh, the commentary on this is really good. If you actually like. Okay, it can get a bit repetitive, but the Spanish commentary I do really enjoy. Uh, and yeah, just crowds like this you don't see often ever really in most races except Grand Tours. So it's really good to see. I really wish Colombia had some bigger races and had a larger season. Like instead of the summer of cycling Australia, which doesn't really get me too excited. Like it's good, but it's not, there's not as much authentic passion. Uh, I think it'll be really good. Anyway, skip forward to the end because basically New Colombia just keep it under control and they bring back Carapaz. Uh, no worries, as you saw then, and they keep going on the front. Carapaz is actually struggling a little bit, uh, as, as well as El Pony. Uh, Pony seems to be having a bit of difficulties going on, but also uh, with Rigoberto Arant. But everyone managed to get back on because there's no real massive reason to drive in the descent. What you'll see here is Jonathan Restrepo. He's racing for Polti Cometa this year, but he's a really strong sprinter. He's like come second or third in some of the bunch sprints on this stage, but he managed to get back on. You can see the bunch has actually caught, swelled quite a lot. It's maybe like 15 riders here. Most of the GC guys are here. Starna have two with Lopez and Tejada. But anyway, he skipped a front to the one kilometer go. There's not really much happened. A couple of attacks, but nothing too major. And Colombia doing the main, the national team doing the big lead out. Bernal and Brandon Rivera both made it over. Rivera had to chase on the descent. But I was obviously there, no worries. And they're really uh, pretty confident in Restrepo, and I would be because he is like a bunch sprinter on paper. But anyway, Iran, who I thought had a good kick, but uh, he seems to be doing the lead out for Carapaz. Maybe they just thought he's, he's needs the bonus seconds, even though it can't really do much. And uh, Osorio as well on the GW uh, Shimano team, he's really strong as well. And here the lead out actually goes quite badly wrong for Colombia. Bran Rivera, you can see on the right hand side of the screen in the Ineos spike, he's trying to lead out. Restrepo. Restrepo has no stress. He's just on Carapaz's wheel. Aranda's actually a good lead out, to be honest. It's like fast and he ends well. Like it's it's pretty high speed lead out. Brandon Rivera again just swings to the right. But Restrepo starts sprinting here and chow chow. Thanks for coming. That's it. Done. You can see what a bunch of sprinter is compared to everyone else. Like he goes early as well and just no one even gets around him. But big win for Colombia national team. They must be pretty happy. EF got, got second on this stage. Quite a lot of seconds. And, and, but did win a stage. Shame about the jersey. Uh, but yeah, Rodrigo Contreras, previous World Tour, managed to get the big win. 
uh, on the overall. So anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy this video and I'll see you in the next one.